Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Sorry I've not been around for a couple of weeks but it has been really crazy with work and I just haven't had the time that I'd like to dedicate to these vlogs but it's half term, I'm back in action, I've got quite a few things planned at the moment so hopefully I can share some of my adventures with you again and just get back into it. Today hopefully you're going to find really really interesting, I have got a lesson booked but it is not with Spider. I have been going to our local riding school for a couple of months now and having some Skillmaster lessons um, on their Skillmaster horses just to help improve my way of going, my use of my position, my body, etc. And also to learn some of those more advanced lateral movements because for me and Spider, it's the first time we've ever done shouldering, leg yields, traver, renover, half pass. We've never done any of those things before. So I just wanted to make sure that I got a good grounding in learning how to do them before I obviously then pass it on Spider because I want to make sure that I do these things right. And obviously when you've only got one horse, you get really used to riding one horse and one way of going and it's not always the correct way of going. So it's just about kind of helping me be an even better rider, as good a rider as I can be. Um, and yeah, so I'm going to take you along today so you can see what we get up to. I believe that we've got something quite interesting planned in this session. Right guys, so let's introduce you to this gorgeous little unicorn. This is Jack, who is a Spanish stallion. Um, he had quite a illustrious dressage career with the owner of the riding school competing up to advanced medium. And now he is retired from competition life and enjoying his time as a schoolmaster, teaching people like me the ropes and uh, just showing us how it really should be done. This is my third time riding Jack and he's an absolute sweetheart. Honestly, I can completely understand why some people just fall in love with Spanish horses because he is utterly amazing. So today's schoolmaster lesson was all about improving my position and the effectiveness of my body. So Kate thought it'd be a really, really good idea to introduce some Franklin balls. Here, she's just handed me two um, small orange balls that I placed either side of my thigh, between my thigh and the saddle. She said the higher up you pre you place them, the um, more they open up your hip flexors. But since it was my first time using them, we just sort of put them hand span above the knee. So this was just about making me really aware of my leg and my thigh and how I was using that to um, to influence Jack's way of going. Um, in true schoolmaster style, I love this horse because if you do anything and you don't quite get it right, Jack just, he doesn't do anything naughty or anything, but he just ignores you. He just says you are strong, so you can't have it. Um, but here we are just working on me being able to use my legs effectively to keep him straight, keep him moving around the arena and using himself correctly. There you can see we're really starting to get that connection and he's starting to come around and around my leg and using himself more effectively because I'm not sort of hauling him about. Once we'd cracked getting Jack straight, uh, still with the balls between my thigh and the saddle, we started doing some leg yield on the circle. So just bringing him in and out. Uh, using the leg effectively in the right place and asking properly and keeping him straight and soft. So you can see here, I'm just leg yielding him in on the circle, just asking him to step across um, and listening to my aids quite nicely there. He's such a good boy. Um, and then we started to then work on pushing him out again to the outside of the track. Now, Jack is a little bit sneaky in that if you don't ask properly, he's very good at dodging out the left shoulder you saw there. He just literally is like a magnet to the wall. But I managed to catch him this time and get him back on the circle, straight again and back working around me. So that was quite good. I was quite impressed that I managed to achieve that and keep him going. We then moved on to some shoulder in, working on our shoulder in. Um, I have been doing this with Spider as well at home. The reason I started my Schoolmaster lessons is I wanted to learn to correctly give the aids for the different lateral movements because Spider and I have never done them before um, I started doing them this year with Spider. So yeah, so just coming and learning from Jack when it's right and when it's wrong because he's far more in tune with what I should be asking whereas Spider just kind of guesses what I want and tries to please me. Jack just says, no, that's not how it's done. Changing the rein then and going the other way, a bit harder this way for 
me because my left leg is I'm left side dominant so my left leg is a bit overly achieving there you can see I'm really really like nagging him with the leg and Kate did say to me you know you you you, you find it easier this way but it's also difficult in that my left leg does way more than my right leg does so I'm just working on being a bit more symmetrical and hopefully again the Franklin balls will help improve that rider asymmetry so that spider and people people horses like Jack don't have to put up with my crookedness after tolerating me in walk and doing the lateral movements with the orange balls on my thighs Jack got a big pat and then we took the balls away so that I could start riding in trot uh, obviously you can't ride with the balls in trot because you will you will lose your balls they'll go flying around so oh doesn't it just look like a little dream boat oh I love this horse honestly I can totally see the attraction in Spanish horses he's just so much fun you know let's not talk about me because it's <laughs> utterly shocking but at the end of the day that is why I'm here Then it was time to bring in the next Franklin bowl. So this is a sort of like shaped like a peanut and it's filled with water. It goes under your seat bones. Excuse the rather strange um, actions there. That's just me jamming that in the right place. So it has to sit under both your seat bones. And as I said, it's water filled. So it's quite weird. It's kind of like sitting on a bowl of jelly. The whole point of it is it's supposed to make you sort of even through your seat bones, aware of where your seat bones are in the saddle, but also loosen and free up your lower back which is not something that is very easy for me to do I'm phenomenally tight through my lower back but you know like all things I neglect my own bodywork treatments in favor of spiders so here Kate's just trying to get me to really loosen and relax my back basically she just kept saying sort of like flop all over the place let it flop you about so this was just about you know me being able to feel my seat develop that idea and you know it was quite interesting because Jack's walk got really big and relaxed as a result of me just being that little bit more soft through my lower back and into my seat so it's incredible how influential these things really are then Kate just had me check how effective my hip flexors are by getting me to lift each leg independently off the side of the horse and then both together just to see actually how much use of my leg I've got obviously important the more lateral work you do that you can take your leg on and off uh, mine wasn't very flexible but you know hopefully that will improve with a bit of stretching a bit of focus and a bit of effort on me so yeah so there's Kate just explaining how I need to be able to get my legs on and off you know especially if we want to do fancy things like changes and stuff I need to, be able to put my leg on and off to do effective aids for the transitions Me being the typically overachiever, I tend to do too much and Kate and my other trainers are forever telling me that. But here we were just working on the downwards transitions, literally just a little bit of breath, a little bit of movement of seat, being really focused on not pulling back, not using my hands, it all coming just from the seat. I've still got the peanut under there at the moment, which is why you can see I'm so mobile through my pelvis and my lower back, but just really getting him to stand really nicely from very, very little other than just a bit of movement from seat. And then it was time for some sitting trot. Now, I don't know about you, but I am really naughty for avoiding sitting trot. I find it very difficult. I don't have a good seat. I do worry about obviously banging around on their backs up there and just generally being not very good for the horse. But Kate really insisted that I do a lot of sitting trot here and worked on that. 
um, with the peanut again still in place and you can see there just how much that is affecting the way I sit to the horse. So yeah, I think here we're just popping the peanut back in place. It had a little shifty round, so it's not me scratching my butt and that's not Kate having a little weird dance. That's just making sure that it's in place and it's doing its job. So you can see here how much softer I am through my back. Um, and the next thing we're gonna work on is making my arms a bit more independent. Because you can see here, although I'm flexing through my back, my hands are going with me as well, which is not really ideal. So time to lose the peanut and see actually the difference that's made to my riding. So peanut gone, and this is just me now sitting independently in my seat, working on getting him nice and round. You can see already the improved connection. He wants to come round for me. I know this was a lesson about me and my body position, so we weren't worrying too much about Jack's frame, but just having a um, bit more awareness of my own seating position suddenly we did have much more connection and there were moments where he really tried to come round for me without me having to kind of do too much to influence that just really thinking about myself oh isn't he just a little dream though i love this po this horse he's so much fun he's a real puzzle and he really makes me think about my riding so yeah definitely a session that had left me with a lot of food for thought <laughs> found that really insightful because I certainly did it really made me think much more about my position and the effectiveness of my seat and my legs and um, it was really really interesting obviously by the end where she was literally just getting me sort of breathe in and Jack was sort of going into downwards transition that was really really interesting Um, it just shows how you know when you're on a really well trained horse how much those little aspects of your body make a difference and just being much more biomechanically aware of myself and um, which hopefully will i'll then put a feed into spider so she definitely gave me a lot to think about and as a result i've already started to take some steps so i have messaged spider's osteo erica because she also treats humans and i've booked myself in for um, an osteo treatment to hopefully try and free up that lower back a little bit and just make it a bit more flexible uh, I've ordered some Franklin balls because I just couldn't get over the difference in my seat just from sort of five minutes with the, the Franklin balls. So um, yes, yeah, so I've ordered some Franklin balls so I can practice at home. And next session with Kate, we are going to work on my upper body because obviously just want to get my hands more independent of the rest of me and just get me like really, really secure. So it was really, really good that obviously in that one session, I already felt very different as a rider. And then hopefully, if we keep on with these sessions and I practice at home and I get some back treatment and all those bits and pieces, you know, it'll it'll have a positive impact on my riding because all I want to do is be the best rider I can be. So I'm just constantly working towards that. So hopefully you find that really, really insightful. Um, I will continue to share, obviously, my progress and how I get on and hopefully I'll share some more Schoolmaster lessons later down the road. But if you like this, please like, comment and subscribe below. Tell me what you do to improve your position in your riding. I'd love to hear other people's ideas. And I will see you for the next one, guys. Bye.